Countryside Knitting. My name is Merete and I'm one of the two who runs this podcast. The other one is... I am Janne from Aukra. We have a plan. Well, we Actually, we had a plan to do something when Easter came. But now when Corona is everywhere, uh, or at least all the things we have to take care of, uh, that we have to stay at home and so on, and all the news are filled with, with bad news, I think, a lot of them, or they dominate at least. Jana and I thought that we could try to make a kind of daily or almost daily vlog. So we will talk about the things that we would have talked in our episodes. We would have talked about more things um, in at once, but now we will just split them up and you will have a little video from us, um, a small one, maybe every day. So I hope you will join us and we are not going to, to have so, uh, so long episodes every day. Today we're going to talk about the show because we have a knit along and we have started it um, almost immediately when our uh, latest um, episode was out I wanted to make a knit along so this is the first time I talk about it in the, in the podcast I did it in Norwegian first so I made a, a question in a Facebook group that we have in Norwegian about shawls I said would you like to knit with me this one um, this is the bright side. It's almost the same um, on both sides. This is a shawl design uh, by Skander Knits. She's a Norwegian, uh, quite close to my area. She lives in London now and she has a podcast. I guess you've seen her. If you haven't checked her out, do so. She's so uh, clever and, and funny. Um, yeah, She has a talk show every Tuesday, more or less. And she has made this design one year ago. It is called Lysning. Lysning, that would mean a place in the woods where there is an opening. Um, a very nice uh, name, I think. So I made this, um, I think maybe a month ago. And now I would like to, to knit more because I like it so much. And there are several things I like about this. It is got to stitch um, and lace. And that's a nice combination I don't think I have tried before. So this is uh, what it looks like. It is, uh, first of all, you start where there are most stitches and then you decrease and uh, when the lace is finished you decrease even more and it's, it's quite a quick knit. I think I made this in less than one week. This is a, a woolen spun yarn. Uh, it is called no. It is Vilja from Hillesvåg. It is not very easy to get everywhere, um, I'm afraid, but thin woolen spun yarn. Uh, you could use fienul, that's easier to get. I'm going to knit one in fienul too, like this. Uh, this is 175 meters per 50 gram and uh, you use quite thick needles and uh, that's because it's going to be a see-through it's going to be loose um, and uh, it is based on the Faroese traditional shawl so the shape is very nice it is not too deep but still it is quite long when I wear my shawls I usually do like this and then I would like to make a knot because where I live there's a lot of wind so it may blow off if I don't have that one uh, really closed so I, I like it because it is uh, it doesn't weigh very much I think this is 150 grams and it is very it's it's warm maybe I'll untie the knot and um, Right now, I only have this knit along in Norwegian in a Facebook group in Norwegian and in my Ravelry group in Norwegian. But if you would like to join, I have been thinking about making um, a Facebook group in English and a thread in my Ravelry group in English. I run this call, uh, Mianjana runs this, run this call uh, with Evestrik. 
she's a Norwegian podcast. She also has a rabbit group, but I think it is only Norwegian, or I can ask her if she would like to do it in English as well. It is not difficult, just uh, when I knit the lace part, I have to concentrate and I have to count. Uh, in the pattern you can choose between written instructions and a chart. And for me, I'm a visual type, I prefer the chart. Because when I knit, I can see that if, if I do something wrong, if I forget one um, uh, yarn over, um, I will see it if I look closely. Um, many times when I knit the, uh, the wrong side, I count. So I can see if I have forgot something that would I would make notice of it and just cheat, put it in. Uh, because if you do one mistake, it will um, everything will just uh, be uh, uh, wrong, of course. So I need a little bit of concentration uh, on the lace part, but the rest, it's this is a really quick knit. I think I made this in one week. It's woolen spun and light and very uh, wearable, and I think you can choose many kind of yarns if you want to. I have started another one. This is let me see. This is a very special yarn. Uh, it's merino. That's not very special, but it's Norwegian merino, and that's uh, only one place you can get in Norway, and that is uh, Melaina merino. It's one uh, one ply. It's very thin. It's thinner than the other one, uh, so I have um, three and a half millimeters needles, I think. Um, this is how far I have come. You can see if I stretch it out, you can see the pattern. I think this is so classic and so uh, this can be worn to anything. I know that some um, who joined the cow. Uh, Eve Strick also. She's going to knit it in black and it's going to be to use together with her national costume. Because this is uh, an old traditional Faroese and maybe also a Norse, I don't know. Uh, we have the same roots <laughs> in both countries. So um, this is uh, a very nice uh, show I can recommend and if you want to join in a knit along. I can do it in English as well. Even though I just started it in Norwegian. This is the pattern. This is the Norwegian version. It's going, you can choose between the English and Norwegian version. I recommend it. And I recommend Skeinbeer. She has a lot of nice uh, patterns. Traditional and modern. I do something else as well. So when I... Um, uh, I'm not going to talk about very many things today, but I want to show you something that I work on every day. So this is, and I'm not going to show you every day because it's a bit boring. It's just uh, one day, every day, I look out uh, what temperature it is and I uh, make one row, <coughs> or two rows of a garter stitch. So it will be a kind of memory blanket for the temperatures and now it's cold, it's white outside, that's why I have the, this color. This is a very uh, very woolen spun yarn from Latvia and Lithuania that I bought when I traveled. Um, I didn't know exactly what to do with it, so um, now I put it into a blanket. And it is going to be big, uh, like you can see here. And in the summer, I don't know, how can I knit this in the summer when it's warm? Because it will be so big. Another thing that I'm going to cast on, I think, um, that is um, socks. A lot of uh, people knit socks all the time and love it. I don't really love it, but I, I have a book that I really like. And these socks are from that book. This, um, I'm not going to, to knit exactly the same. I'm going to knit another pattern, but I can show you maybe uh, tomorrow. This is a book by Wenke Roald. She's a Norwegian Swedish uh, designer. She has made um, a book based on this very old one. This is a reprint on the Gensibern Burn. 
this is um, I know you can get in English and I think maybe uh, the book Inspirerende norske strikkemønstre also is about to be translated I think I heard or maybe I mix it with something else but there are a lot of nice charts this is also uh, to be found I think I don't think I do anything harm with showing them to you uh, old um, charts and she has made them into more modern shaped um, clothes a lot of nice things I could maybe show this book more uh, another day um, like I said Diana and I were going to do just very small um, vlogs while we wait for the world to get back to normal or maybe we wait for getting sick I don't know, hope so this will be a very um, like a break from the news uh, I think we can all need that so um, I think that's it for today if you like what you have seen uh, you may very well uh, push the thumbs up and uh, to subscribe to our channel that's free um, yeah and like I said um, you're welcome to follow us maybe not every day but yeah maybe we're every day I'm not sure I'm going to work from home very much so not so much driving the car much more uh, around my house so I think that's it for today. I'm going to have a little bit of video at the end showing or maybe in the beginning I have to think uh, uh, because I had to, to drive a little bit yesterday and I had to drive a little bit today because I was going to, to get my son uh, on the train station uh, because his school shut down uh, and I had to get a car uh, that was repaired. But I'm just uh, finished with my shawl. This is a uh, loosening shawl from uh, Skander Knits. And uh, it's, it's a big, very big. And I have knitted it in finul from uh, Rauma. This is a, a, a color uh, you can't get anymore. I bought it on the store on Rauma in Andalsnes. So it's uh, yes, it's great, and I I like to cook my uh, my project. So I uh, take a kettle and I boil the water up and. Uh, I put it down in the water and I let it uh, stay there to, to it be cold and then I uh, take a lay it on my floor on the bath and uh, so this will uh, be boil tomorrow and I have knitted uh, socks from uh, Kia's uh, bod. <clears throat> she have a she have a, a, a free sock 2020 and it's this oh it's plastic lemino socks by uh, Sara Jordan and I have knitted them in fable from drops and here they are oh, I love them I knit on uh, on uh, magic loop, so I knit the both at the same time, and this is for me. And I have uh, been uh, sewing a bit, some project small bags to uh, to uh, scissory and uh, things like that, thread or needles. It's a bit, bit, little bit post with the, the zipper in the top. And I have uh, my new uh, knitting bag when I have uh, decided, designed by myself. <clears throat> it have a zipper in the side and it's had a zipper on the top. And you can use it as a bowl. 
on the table. You can uh, take it down and uh, it stands by itself and you have a bowl. So uh, I save uh, lots of them. Uh, and I have one with a zipper in the, on the open not at all. Not ring what? Yes, spill it in. I'm sorry, but my husband just come in and uh, she he he said, uh, I have uh, <laughs> let your uh, my, my sister uh, borrow your car. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's no problem. <clears throat> I was talking about this, and uh, I have one here, but I don't have the zipper inside. So I have sewed a lot of them for a knitting uh, place in uh, August. But what August is it called? And I have uh, some. It, this is a uh, uh, old fabric recycled. Uh, this is also recycled. And I have some here. This is not. This is have not have the zipper inside, and this. If this is an old curtain uh, from a, a child's room, I think. They are uh, some of them. Them they don't have zipper. So, <clears throat> and I knit at uh, a jacket. I get. Some lammeull. That's uh, almost the same as finull, but it's thinner. And I are knitting with a uh, kid silk. So you you see it's almost a different uh, color. These two together you are like this. It's a jacket. Uh, this is a jacket from uh, Pinneguri. Uh, I don't know if that pattern in, are in English, uh, but it's called Verdagsjakke. You you have to see on the Ravelry if uh, it's so. I have come a bit, uh, and I knit on uh, <laughs> lots of more. My project bag is back here. You see, so um, I. Uh, you can just take one and knit some uh, crochet in uh, some of the bags too. So I have to do something finish, not make a new one. I'm hopeless. But I'm knitting and knitting and knitting and sewing. So the days go on. See you another day. Bye. Well, that's it for today, so bye-bye!